to the residents of Boonsburg. I'm coming to you once again, of course, from the other secret location. And I'm now going to be sharing with you a secret of how I personally believe the Egyptians built the pyramids using an incline and a Boonsburg egg and utilizing ropes so that it ends up being a pulley, even though without being a pulley, it becomes its own pulley. So it's very, is it a low friction pulley, I'm assuming, and, um, and I will show you and I, that you will see exactly how I personally believe the Egyptians built the pyramids using this type of what they were, their children used to play with yo-yos and they used to call them, they were, they were making fun of the Pharaoh's giant yo-yos. That's the story. This would explain what they were Im 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 imitating, the, the, the Pharaoh's giant yo-yo. So let me, I'm going to do close up. So you can understand what exactly I want so that the detractors don't go and say, I can't see it in the kind of thing, like they always do. Well, let's see. Okay. So let me... Basically, when you see the tracks at the the pyramids, you see tracks. You you, you always see those the the, the 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 this the the logs, and they're always this way going toward the pyramid. And people say, "Oh, they pulled the sleds on them," and I don't believe that because if those were sleds were pulled along it with all that sand, they would have been sanded down the same way sandpaper sands would. I purposely, but I, I believe that those are actually railroad ties. And on top of them, they were laying tracks. And I believe that we probably laid four different types of track so that there were different sized Boonsburg eggs, basically different gauges for um, the different size rocks, the, big, the, the stones being moved. So this here is personally my, my personal belief of how they would have done it, where they would have gone to the top of the incline and simply had some type of an area like this I'm, and 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 they they well first of all I laid track on both sides well I want to have a Boonsburg egg on a track but I couldn't for, for the purpose it's just my model at the moment so I just put some rails so that it won't you know it'll be on a flat surface in a sense though it could have been easily done on a track but it's just an example of showing purposely but don't go and Tell me they didn't have the, the steel to make nails. I don't want to hear it. Um, but they simply would have taken from here, gone down, and had gone under a Boonsburg egg. Okay. And one of the things is with the Boonsburg egg, you'll see, I also believe that the Egyptians would have, around the stone, since there's going to be the ropes going around, they would have put caps on top of the Boonsburg egg areas so that as the rope went around it stayed smooth and they've actually found baskets of some sort that actually are exactly that that would have fit on top so I believe that that theory is practically proven um, okay so comes from here comes down comes back up now up here a, a piece of wood that won't move it's just on a this the window thing and I put some nails back here just multiple nails so that the, 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 the string will stay in its groove. But the Egyptians actually had, they actually had um, stuff like, stuff like, like this thing. They had stones shaped like this that you would have, it, it, you could see it had like one, two, three grooves in it. And they were, it was like uh, smooth. And you could have put that as a cap here and the rope coming over and it would have stayed in the grooves. They have many of these. And that's where I believe that piece would have gone. And then the, so you, you, have, you have this going here. It would just go underneath and, and like this. Um, and then the string would go back up and, and it would go through or around this here. Ooh, excuse me. Um, and then it would come down and, uh, for the moment. It would go back under like this. Well, if I just do a simple, you can see how it would simply go up as a very simple pulley system. You know, and it actually has points where it starts to fall uphill, but it's not anything super major. And if you simply had, imagine an Egyptian with 
you know, pulling on ropes. You could have him, you know, pulling. If you had a group of them below pulling, it would easily go right up. It's not not difficult at all. Um, and the, you can actually the more the more ropes you include, making it more of a pulley, um, such as you come up, go back into another one of those grooves, as I have stated personally pr previously, which they they found multiples of, and you basically have it go. Now you have more, and it moves up even easier. It's a very simple system, but due to it being a Boonsburg egg, you know, it's not rolling, woo, going straight down the hill. It's actually very simple, and you don't actually need, you know, a movable pulley at the high end. You just need a smooth groove. So that's my personal constitutionally protected opinion of how I believe if the Egyptians were, 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 were pulling, you had some just down the bottom, you could get these things shoo, whoo, whoo, right up the hill quite easily. And if you have any problems with that, well, then you'll have to, you know, it's, uh, oh, um, you, you'll, you'll see, I can do other models of this, but I will do larger versions so you can personally see that this is, it, it's, it's completely plausible. Um, and, and if there were, there were multiples, you, you have things, you know, they, they, they did, there's a certain, uh, the symbol they have, when you look at that symbol, they say it's like the tree of something, I can't remember, but it has four, four plates up top, and when I realize, when you look at it, it looks like tracks going up an incline, you know, in a distance, and the four would represent, I, my personal belief, of four different layers of track just going across, that you would just lay on with bigger size, if you had a bigger block, you'd actually need a wider track, so I believe instead of moving tracks, they just laid out like four, so... Thank you. That's my theory, and uh, and and I will. Uh, I, we will talk. Thank you very much.